Howdy, everybody. How are we doing? <laughs> you can tell two different versions. <laughs> um, so, I want to talk about moving today. In the sense of when God tells you to get up and get your way out. Come on, come on. So actually, I want you to move your sit. Sit over there. With this drink, the chair. Move the chair. Come on, buddy. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> So, didn't have much, but this is what I got for you guys. So, backstory, Jesus is born. The three wise men came to visit him. And so forth, Herod wants to kill Jesus, yes. so forth. So, um, can you put my thing up there, please? I did, thank you. So, now when they had gone, behold, an angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream and said, Get up, take the child and his mother and flee to Egypt. Remain there until I tell you, for Herod is going to search for the child and to destroy him. So Joseph got up and took the child and his mother while it was still night and left for Egypt. So what I really like to say in that verse is it's night. He woke up. Jesus told him. He woke, He didn't just like, eh, two, four, four more hours sleep. Then nah, I'll get going. No, he go got up that night. Right. God would stand, right. up stand up and walk. Oh, walk around. Yeah. Just do something. Anything. I don't care. <laughs> I told him moved. He moved. He's a good, faithful servant. I said, Amen. What are we doing? We have two options here. Come on. We can either serve the devil or we can get up and walk. Yeah. We have two options. Once you get up to move, I'm just theorizing. Say I'm God. We're the servant. Come here. Okay, we're going closer. Yeah. We're doing it. And that's how it works. It's more affecting other people. When if I go up and I go with some uh, poor person some money, I'm affecting his life. If I pray with him, I'm affecting his life. I am putting an expression of Christianity in his life. I gave, I just was leaving, and there was a homeless man. I gave, I had a blanket, and I had some money, so I gave it to him. I prayed with him. What if I didn't do that? Right. I prayed with right. What kind of Christian would I be? What, I would not have to put a question on that man. Be like, oh, what's this little Christian thing? What if I go to a church? What if I start getting out to other Christians? See what I can get out of them. And then they'll be like, what can I do for others? I don't want to live this homeless life. What can I do Come on. to do others? What can I do to help people that are in the same situation that I am in? What if Joseph didn't move? Now, let's, of course, God chose the right person. He chose the right person because he knew to get up that night. But what if he did? What if Herod got to that house before he left? Would we have a savior? Come on, man. Would we? He chose the right person. He's choosing us to move. If we sit there and we don't move, what are we going to do? What is he going to do? He's going to be so big. And that's going to affect our life, our eternity, and our eternity. It affects others. Because 10 people get either in hell or heaven, you are affecting others' lives. And he's going to be accountable. It's going to be you. It might not be much. It might be one soul. That's one soul in heaven's way to. Oh, yeah. 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 Much, but if we don't get up and move, yeah. we don't get an example. Not one of us we can move with ten. If ten move, we can move a hundred. A hundred will move a thousand. So Yeah. Oh, yeah. Come on. Yeah. We get a group going here. 